now? Like, what kind of artists do you kind of seek out? I mean, obviously, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's, there's people that are famous and there's people that are talented and then there's people that are talented and famous. And I, I go for those. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's my, <laughs> my uh, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a lot of garbage out there. So you got to be careful what you work on. You know, you got to, you got to preserve your, your legacy, work on respectable stuff. Right. That's the most and that's, that's very honest, too. That's very honest that you put it that way. Um, going back to the beginning of your career, um, how did you even know that production was going to be your thing and something that you could take really far? Like, was there a sign? What did you, what kind of, what did you feel? Well, you know, being in the, in the roots, um, you know, was ultimately what started my career. Mm -hmm. You know, before I even knew how to produce a record, I knew how to play keys and I was playing keys and, and writing uh, and composing, we'll call it, with the roots. And um, and we were really actually producing these records. Um, didn't realize it, but then after a while, you know, I, I got to a place where my passion was being in the studio. It wasn't being on the road. It wasn't playing the same songs over and over again every night in a different city. It was making mm -hmm. a new song every night. And... You know, that's that's just my my what what led me down that road. And and I left the group on good terms and we still continue to work together. And and I did a lot of the same type of stuff I was already doing uh, as a member, as a uh, as an outside member. They actually named me the Desert Chef, like, you know, of the group. <laughs> that was my nickname from uh, Quest Love. And, uh, and uh, you yeah, know, I just pursued my career and I had to take a step backwards to take a step forward. Right. Um, I remember I had say, a girlfriend at the time. She told me I was crazy and that there was a guy that left, there's a guy that left the Beatles, which is like pretty much, you know, one of the biggest things that ever happened to music. And his name was Pete Best. And she told me I was going to be the Pete Best of the Roots. And I was like, <laughs> cool. you know, if you don't believe in me, thanks for, for showing me that. And, uh, you know, I, I, right. I made it happen. You had to have that confidence in yourself. You believed in it. And I mean, you and know, my it first, worked out my for first client, My first client as a producer that believed in me and, and, and hired me to make a record for him was Busta Rhymes. And uh, then the, next, the following week, my second clients were Capone and Noriega. Shout out to all three of them. What was the Busta the first song? Believers. Huh? What was the Busta song? Blot Out. It was on the okay. Anarchy album. Yeah, it was fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely read before you said it, too, about, you know, you didn't like going on the road. You weren't into touring. Kind of what, what was it about touring that you really weren't into? And are, do you still feel that way? Do you still not want to go on the road? You know what? Um, it's funny, like, after this pandemic, I'm ready to do like a two year tour. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but no, like seriously, um, you know, I wanna do the right looks. Like I wanna like experience certain things too. Like I do wanna do, you know, some stuff in Dubai. I wanna do stuff uh, in, you know, various countries and particular venues in New York and et cetera. But like yeah, I'm ready to do spot dates and maybe little tour legs, but not any mm -hmm. like long world tour type thing. 